Hey everyone, in this video we're going to install a theme so that Jenkins looks a bit nicer than with its stock interface. So this is a stock interface of Jenkins that we're all so familiar with and it doesn't look very pretty. Now after this video you will be able to transform this look to something completely different like this for example. So let's get going. Okay, so here we are back at our Jenkins installation and the first thing that we need to do is install the simple theme plugin. So to do this, we're going to go to manage Jenkins and go to manage plugins. Now go over to the tab available and here we can search for all the plugins that we can install. So in the filters option here, I'm going to search for simple theme and there's a simple theme plugin. So I'm going to click install and then I'm going to say download now and install after restart. This is a plugin that you have to install with a restart of your Jenkins installation because otherwise the themes that you install won't be activated. So I'm going to click this download now and install after restart. And I'm going to speed up the video until my Jenkins installation has successfully restarted. And there we go, the plugin was installed successfully and now we can start using it and start adding our own CSS style sheets to our Jenkins installation. So let's go back to manage Jenkins and go to configure system. And this time you will notice that we have a new section in the configurations panel. If we scroll down, we now have a section called theme and we can give it a URL of our CSS style sheet and we can give it a URL of our JavaScript file if we want any custom interactions with our interface. So obviously right here, we need the URL of a custom style sheet or a theme. So we're going to go to Google and we're going to search for Jenkins theme or themes. And the first one is a theme that I really like. It's called the Jenkins material theme. And if you scroll down, you can see some screenshot of the theme. It has different colors that you can pick and it looks really clean and really modern. So this is a theme that I want to use. Now there are two ways in which you can use this theme. The first way is to build your own theme with a company logo. This is a little wizard online that you can say, okay, I want to call it Indigo and you can upload your company logo to it. For example, here, my logo. And then it will generate a custom CSS for you with this color and with your logo embedded into the CSS. So all you have to do is download it, host it on your Jenkins server, and then paste the URL into your Jenkins installation. Now, the second way that you can use this theme is to use the hosted version of the CSS file. You see, the author of this theme also offers up hosting for it. Now, the advantages of using this technique is that whenever he updates his theme, you will always have the latest version. But if you download the theme and host it yourself, you will also have to manually update your theme. So to use the hosted version, just scroll down until you see the installation section. And right here, you can see the URL for all the themes. So this is the base URL and it ends with material dash then nothing dot CSS. Now the idea is that you append the color of the theme that you want to this URL and then you can use it in your Jenkins installation. So for example, I would want to use the color Indigo, then I have to add Indigo after this dash. So let's do that right now. Let's copy this URL. Let's go back to our Jenkins installation. Let's scroll down to URL of theme CSS. Let's paste it in here and let's add Indigo. There we go. Let's now save these settings. And boom, there you have it. The Indigo theme has been installed on our Jenkins installation and straight away Jenkins looks a lot better than it used to. So that's it for this video. If you find this interesting and you want to learn more about Jenkins, check out the rest of my other Jenkins tutorials. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel or visit my website. Thank you very much for watching.